One of the great features of GitHub Copilot for VS Code is custom instructions. They help you fine tune your responses from Copilot while also writing smaller prompts. Let's see how that works. GitHub Copilot shortens the time it takes for you as a programmer to find answers. Just ask Copilot. Here, I'm trying to learn more about tail recursion, and Copilot does a great job explaining how it works. This looks good, but the return code, well, it's not quite my style. I'm not a fan of the spacing, and we do our variable naming a bit different here at my company. So let's fix that with custom instructions. To add these, I just need to add a directory called .github, and in there, add a markdown file named copilotinstructions.md. This is a simple markdown document that the entire team can use. I have a code snippet here with my standard instructions for JavaScript, so I'll add that directly. Here I have my variable naming conventions and indentation for same people with two spaces only. With custom instructions in place, I will not only get a better answer, I can also write a smaller prompt as the instructions provide the context for each chat request. When I send a request to GitHub Copilot, the custom instruction file is prepended to the request, and Copilot will evaluate this as well as the prompt that I wrote. And let's take a look at this answer. Much better. Variable naming conventions are being followed, my code is indented as it should be, and I don't have to spend time crafting the perfect prompt. I can commit these instructions as well to my Git repository so my team can use them in the future. You can also adjust other things about Copilot's responses, including tone, humor, accent, just about anything. Let's have some fun and dial up some Aussie Strine. Very nice. If you want to see what kinds of things you can get up to with custom instructions, have a look around GitHub. Here are the instructions the VS Code team uses to build VS Code. There's so much you can do to make Copilot your own. Go explore and have some fun. Many people don't know this, but if you open up the source control pane in VS Code and hover over the sparkle icon, you'll see that you can use GitHub Copilot to generate your commit message for you. It does this by using Git to see what the incoming changes are and then summarizing those changes. Generating a message for my latest commit, it works pretty well. It's a bit terse, might not capture everything, and if I'm working on a large team, it's likely that we'll have a commit message style that I'll need to use. So while somewhat useful, this might not be for everyone. Unless, of course, we intercept the commit message generation and add our own styling instructions, which we can do by overriding some settings in VS Code. Here, I'm using the command palette to open up workspace settings and adding specific instructions for Copilot when generating a commit message, adding some style, and of course, emojis. Now let's head back over and regenerate our message. Look at that. A lot more detail, and more importantly, groovy emojis to brighten the team's day. Now our message reads the way my team expects it to read, and I don't have to spend time going through every single change trying to remember what I did. One of the biggest time savers when using GitHub Copilot with VS Code. To set up custom instructions for all the GitHub Copilot functions in VS Code, I'll first add a settings.json to my workspace. I use custom instructions a lot, so I've set up some snippets that I can reuse for every project I do. I have one for code generation, another for git commit messages, one for review, and one for test generation. Each one has its own setting that goes into the .vs code settings.json file that overrides the internal VS Code settings. Once added, I can see each setting here in the file, and I can change that as I need to. Let's see this in action. I'll open up my user class here in my project, and I'll ask Copilot to do a code review for me before I commit this to my working branch and open a PR. This will save my team so much time by hopefully catching the little things that will slow the review down. And here is our first recommendation. Ah, right, single quotes. That's in our style guide, isn't it? We can also use GitHub Copilot to generate tests for the file that's open in the editor currently. Here, I'm using the test command in the chat window to see what test Copilot recommends for my user class. It's going to use my test generation custom instructions, creating tests with my preferred testing framework, and also making sure to use the AAA approach. Arrange, act, and assert, and there we go. Targeted custom instructions are extremely powerful in VS Code. 
and make working with the built-in GitHub Copilot functions that much more effective and applicable to your team. I'm working with targeted custom instructions in my current project that are simple text prompts for each Copilot function within VS Code. I want to have a lot more detail here, so I'm going to drop in some documents I've created for my project, including code styles, database styles, and the spec for the current sprint that I'm working on. Now, instead of a text setting in my settings.json, I'm going to change this to file. For this task, I'll be working with Copilot edits, which will not only generate code for me, but also create and edit files. I'll add a simple prompt, asking for a SQL schema for SQLite. Look at how gloriously terse this prompt is. When I run this prompt, Copilot thinks for a second and then shows me that it's using the file references that I specified as a context. It will then show in detail how it's preparing the response for me. And waiting for just a minute, we get our SQL schema. Once again, Copilot explains why it did what it did, but looking through here, I can see that it's pretty darn close to exactly what I want to see. Now, Copilot isn't perfect. I'm using Claude Sonnet 3.5, which is very good with code generation, but it's always a good idea to check and go over the result. Oh, but there is so much more we can do here. This SQL file is gold when it comes to custom instructions. Let's open up our settings.json once again and add it as a file reference for code generation. That's right, custom instructions don't need to be written language. They can be code, like SQL. Now that I've added the SQL schema, I can do even more groovy things, like generating a Prisma schema. Well, looking over the generated Prisma schema, this looks great. If I tried to write this by hand, it would have taken me quite a while, but with Copilot and custom instructions, I am 90 plus percent of the way there. Now, is it perfect? Eh, maybe not, but it's close, and I have saved a lot of time. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy coding.